Section 8. In this section, uh, we can, uh, we will understand what means the metronome. Uh, I will explain about the octave sign, about the tenuto mark, new tempo mark, moderato, firmata, new rhythm, that is quarter and eight, and the pieces that will accumulate all those uh, theoretical stuff. Now about the metronome. A metronome You will see that metronome sign uh, right uh, after indication of the tempo mark, M. Yes, and then you see that we have the quarter and then equals 7070. Yes, if you will see that this metronome, you have to find right now 70 for, for instance, somewhere here and yeah, and you will already understand you now this is the one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you see that already you will understand the tempo mark this is the andante andante as usual 70 71 by the way this is the right now old-fashioned metronome but you can download the metronome using the uh, iPhone, smartphone, you can download the metronome and they have uh, a very precise uh, indication of the tempo mark and figures. Yeah, you will understand that. But, or you can buy this metronome device that uh, helps us to understand the speed. One and two and three and four and this is the andante with the metronome. One and two and three. One and two. Plate right now with this piece, yes, with the tempo mark. You can start first slowly and then gradually approach, yes, using that speed that, yes, we have here. But first, recommendation to play slowly. Now, like I said, that uh, metronome is a device that helps keep, yes, steady time and the proper tempo when practicing a piece. Now, Look, please, what do we have here? Eight, and then V, and then A. We call that octava. Octava sign. What does it mean? It means that if you will see that left hand, right now, yes, that belongs to the left hand, because this is the below the left hand stuff. That means that this, the whole thing, these three measures, you have to play one act of low, then the key between D, here we have the note D. Now, if you will, right now from this note D, count these eight keys down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means that you have to start from this D. Again, you have to play. Octava sign means to play one act of eight notes, eight keys below, then the written notes. Written note is D here. With the octava sign, you have to play here. And you will have... It's very convenient because... Sometimes, you know, this part of the piano, we have to have many and many uh, other laser notes. But the composer uses this staff and puts the octava sign and the performer knows that we have to play one octave low. That's it. Now, what does it mean tenuto mark? Here we have the stress mark above the note B natural and we call the tenuto. Tenuto, a stress mark, meaning to hold a note a bit longer, tiny bit longer. I'm going to show how. 
For instance, I am here. I am starting from this D. Now attention, tempo tone. And a little bit longer. With the both sides. Now tempo tone longer. When we do that longer, we stress this note. Very simple. You will see that yes, a, a small dash or above the notes or sometimes below the notes, this small dash. That means tenuto. Very common mark. Now here we have the Hungarian folk song with the new tempo mark moderato. Also, you can identify this materato yes, using the metronome in Orbal already understand yes, how to, uh, what tempo to use. So for instance, here we have the moderato sign, yes, but, yes, moderato fig figures that indicates the moderato tempo. So that mod, yes, and one and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and this yes for instance yes we have to write now the yes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and yes this is the speed that we have to use and then yes yes this is the moderato tempo that we have to play for this Hungarian folk song eventually of course but I recommend to do that first very slowly, like that. One and two and one and two and one and two and one. And to practice slowly. And then when we see that already we can do that little bit fast, it's a little bit increase. see that the whole piece you can play that little bit more faster and then gradually increase the speed but always remember better to exchange the speed slowly fast when we practice slowly fast in order not to overplay the piece uh, now and then here we have the new piece the, the silence around by Roman Ledinov we have again andante you can also indicate you can also identify the andante using the metronome andante and ten figures that indicates andante andante and you will be all right yes now uh, here also we have the uh, some uh, meanings uh, moderato that means moderately fast relatando r l a that means reduce tempo Yes, like that. I am reducing the speed. Yes, I'm going to play right now the second line. Now we are approaching to the common chords, a chord progression or cadences we call that. Yes, this is the absolutely common chord that the composer uses to compose the piece. No, for instance, yes, we have. Yes, I show right now. Yes, I. Yes, I decided to use uh, different positions for these common chords. Now A minor. And we have to have absolutely the same finger for any. And then F major for any chord progression. A minor. G major. E minor. Practice 
practice please this uh, common chords and listen yes use the same fingers for all positions watch for the key signatures a composer uses these chords very often in their pieces that's why we have to learn it because it will um, help you to use you know, for instance yes right now we have the happy birthday to you traditional and take a look please and the chord progression Right now, a little bit, yes, fermata, you see that this sign, we call that fermata. Yes, this piece has how many fermatas? Okay, let's count. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, five fermatas we have. Fermata means to hold key a bit longer. Yes, a bit longer. Okay, now I'm going to play right now with fermata. Also, uh, okay, you see that also I use the fermata and the last uh, measure. Now, new rhythm, dotted quarter and eight. Uh, dotted quarter works with single eight notes together. Now, one and two and one and dot two and one and two and one and two and quarter with that. This dot makes this quarter longer exactly and it's half. That's why one and two and a single note. One and two and single eight note. One and two and here we can practice a little bit rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and doesn't matter where you will have first beat, second beat, third beat, it works like that. That quarter supposed to be longer exactly and it's half. And then the eight notes one and two and one and two. I will tell you that's very popular rhythm. No, for instance, we have right now a Scotland folk song. Everyone knows this song. Yes. Now, I'm going to play right now with the uh, right hand. A beat. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and attention one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then fermata one two and three and longer yes with the yes with the both hands four and one Next piece is Gradle song by Isidore Philip. Also, everyone knows this piece. Yes, we have also a bunch of the uh, uh, dotted quarter and eight. We have dotted quarter and eight, actual two of them. Dotted quarter eight, dotted quarter eight. Yes, this is the piece like that. Ooh.
that is quarter and eight recommendation to practice many and many times even the deck the whole traditional also has the that's it quarter i will play that slowly one and two And then we have to do that second time, yes? Yeah, now uh, this uh, piece has been composed in the G major position. We have to, when you will practice, please pay attention by all means. And the dotted quarter and eight is the new rhythm, yes, as well as the America the Beautiful, also using. One, two. And we have the poco retardante and the way and the end. That means gradually slow down a little. I am going to play. positive that you will be experienced because right now I will say uh, goodbye yes because after that already you will have the YouTube audio because you have learned already what you needed to learn in order to be a good musician and when you will be experienced you will play America the beautiful one day like that. 